Welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a it's a real thrill to be here. as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. Who's going to make this theirs? Done very well to intervene. Hoiberg makes the route one option. Passes it through. A chance! And the finish! And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Aimed long and direct. And he's made certain that won't get through. Played out to the right. Up to meet it! Now oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. I just really like the way they've started with such intensity, Peter. Tries a through ball. Can he finish? Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Now the pass. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attack and strike. It was so direct. Oh, good interception. as yet. The 
looks like a good ball through. Big chance! And that has skinned the post. Well, how close can you get? That must have been a matter of inches. He just stood firm. Goes for the cross. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Hoiberg. Towards the front. Looks to slip it through. And the flag has stayed down. Goes for goal. And it's a goal! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And now they can launch a counter. They've managed to get it away. Questions were asked. He's given the answers. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Ericsson. Fisted away. wrong <laughs> forward it goes now it's Ericsson Shots on! Hoiberg passes it through. Gets up to head it! Another header, but again the same outcome. Well, there's nothing wrong with the service. Uh, they've just been very wasteful in the air. Out wide to the right. He slid it through. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Massive leap! Same again, same outcome. Well, when you see chance after chance go astray like that, it's only natural to think that 
they may end up with a little regret here. Tries a through ball. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Tries a long pass towards the front. Now the pass. Can he find a finish now? Can he score? Oh, taken with style. And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. There's the end of the first half. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, but goal inch. Denmark, get the second half going. He's being closely tested here. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Lovely feet. Goes long and forward. Tries to swing it in. Spoon forward. Now it's Ericsson. Looks like a good ball through. Gets into some space. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Smart save. It's hit the crossbar. Goal! Denmark! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Denmark get themselves into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. It's a loose ball. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Pumps it upfield. Denmark saved by a real stroke of luck there. It just fell kindly. Look, sometimes you're already thinking about what you're going to do next and you suffer a little lapse in concentration and end up with a, a red face moment like that. It's very frustrating. Tries a through ball. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Can he put it away? Oh, he's trying to get himself offside. Looks to slip it through. Chance! He'll have a dip! It's come loose. Hoiberg. Is... 
Eriksson with the ball through. Hoiberg hits one! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. kick gets it back towards the front line. Can he find a finish now? Big chance! He has done it! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Denmark go two up and into a position of real strength. Passes it through. And he's cut it out. Christian Eriksen boots it upfield. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? He's off on a marauding run. Great strike, but the keeper's equal to it. Good clearance and very necessary. And it's Eriksen. He's gone for it. More pressure on the opposition goal. That's one way to make your presence felt. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Now the pass. Hoiberg looking to get on the end of this. Oh, he's found him in space. They are rampant. Surely now, beyond all doubt. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. And that's it. Quite a game, memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes and astonishing turnaround. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win and everything was just a letdown because of that. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.